Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at accessory assembly and animation and the featured accessory we're going to be using in this tutorial is the hair. So I'm going to be showing you how you can construct your own hair using different props and to create an accessory and then save that accessory and all that other fun stuff. And we're going to deconstruct the accessory along the way. All right, so let's take a look at what an accessory, uh, what a hair accessory is. So with our character selected, it's actually this G3 human character, uh, the Elastic Folks female side facing one. Let's take her into composer mode here, and we're going to take a look at what the hair actually is. I'm going to zoom in on my character's face. Uh, we don't need all these all these bones right now, so I'm just going to deselect the show bone item up here, and let's focus on the hair item. So if we click right here, you can see a front hair item highlights in the scene manager. If we click back here, we have a back hair item. So this is your standard G3 uh, character hair that you'll have on your characters. Uh, you can move these around if you want, uh, just like this, and we can reveal her uh, very square looking head. Uh, we can just go ahead and select them and delete them as well, because we're going to apply another quick accessory to our character's head. So I'm going to go over to the content manager, and where you can find the accessories, you go to actor, and under accessories, there'll be a hair folder here. And now all these hair items uh, are available for separate purchase from the content store, just so you're aware of that. So I'm going to go ahead and apply one of these to my character. Now you can click and drag it onto your character, but because it's an accessory, it already has the bone hierarchy and the layer data already included in the accessory. And I'll talk more about that a little bit later on. So what we can do is we can just actually just double click the uh, ponytail bob side item here, and it'll apply directly to our character's head and all the layers will already be in position. If we go to our layer manager here, let's just make it a little bit, uh, collapse the list here. We can see if I select one item, they'll all highlight kind of pink. And that means they're all attached to each other. Um, so down at the bottom, we have the uh, side, uh, uh, the uh, rear part of the hair right there, just this part right here. And if we try and move them, they all move together because they're actually attached to each other. I'm going to control Z that there. All right, so just keep that in mind. You can't move them separately once they're all attached to each other. We can make the back invisible just like this though, okay? So uh, now all these hair accessories, they can also be animated as well. I'm gonna take it briefly into uh, stage mode here just to kind of show you. So if you select the hair item, you can right click on it and go to the action menu and the hair will come preloaded with all these uh, animation templates like a breeze one, you can right click and there's a running one just like this, nice bouncing running animation and a strong wind uh, loop, okay? Stuff like that. Um, so just so you're aware that uh, these accessories, hair accessories come with animations already. I'm going to right click that and remove object animation. That'll remove all the animation from my hair there. And let's take it back into uh, composer mode here. But before we do that, I'm going to show you we actually have different props that can animate as well, hair props. So let's go to the content manager and you can find the props under props, G3 accessories. There'll be a folder called hair parts. And you'll find these items here like back hair, for example, if we bring the back hair in, just click and drag it into our scene, maybe resize it a little bit. If we right click that, action menu, we can do the running one. Okay, it animates by itself. And just like that, we also have bangs, which we can uh, bring in by, them, by themselves, by itself, and uh, do something like the breeze, okay. So just so you're aware, these props can also animate by themselves as well. I'm gonna delete these for now. And I'm going to show you now how to create a custom accessory, hair accessory from those props. Okay, so let's go back into composer mode here. And in composer mode, I'm going to delete the uh, current accessory. So she'll be once again bald here. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to import in a, a number of different props and attach them to our character's face. All right, so this is the face item right here in the hierarchy. You want to, we want, you want to attach them to the face. And I'll show you why in just a moment here. Uh, so I'm going to go to the content manager under props, uh, G3 accessories, hair parts. Let's start with the scalp. Okay, so I'm gonna choose the side facing scalp and just click and drag that onto my face. Make sure it, uh, the blue highlight box shows up there and we can just resize that and reposition it. There you go, I think that'll work well. Or at least we're covering up that unsightly square, square head there, all right? And let's do the bangs next. So I'm gonna take the bangs and let's t uh, take these side bangs here first. Again, make sure you uh, have the blue face highlighted there. Okay, so we'll click and drag uh, this to make it a little bit smaller. Now, if you want to replace any of these items without actually having to go and delete and then reapply them, what you can do, uh, say for example I wanted to replace this one, I can actually hold the Alt key and click and drag and apply it 
to that bang item and it'll actually replace that item on the scene. Okay, so you can hold Alt, click and drag, and it'll replace the item that you highlight, uh, that you highlight over. Okay, so let's use these messy bangs. I like these a little bit more there. Okay, we'll bring them kind of somewhere like this. All right, looking good. All right, let's focus now on the back hair. So we'll go to the back hair item and I'm just going to click and drag this one again to the face one more time. And uh, obviously this one needs to be resized a little bit and repositioned and on the layers as well. So let's go down to the layer manager here. Once again, I'm just going to collapse the list and let's click and drag that top hair layer all the way down to the bottom. Okay. Boom. All right. We are looking good. Now, the reason I mentioned before that you want to apply this, uh, these props to the face is because if you're using stuff like the face puppet tool, uh, the, the hair is actually going to move along with the 3D movement of your face. And I'll show you that right here. If we select the face, we can go to face preview and you can see we get a little bit of, you know, hair movement, uh, back and forth, just like that. Okay. Whereas if you attach it to the bone, it's not really going to move at all with the face. Okay. So just keep that in mind. You want to attach your props to the face. Now, if we go back into stage mode, we face a dilemma where if we click on any of the items, they're still separate. So if I wanted to you know, animate my bangs, only the bangs will animate uh, with the walking animation there. Okay. Uh, let's just go ahead, press control Z and undo that. And what we want to do is we actually want to animate these props as one single hair item. Well, luckily we can do that quite easily just by selecting our character, going back again, once into composer mode and then we're going to attach these hair items to each other. So let's go ahead and select this uh, back, back item right here, which is this item. And I'm going to attach it, use this attach tool here to my bangs, okay? And once we do that, you can see it'll attach to the uh, bang right here. And then we can move these two items together. Whereas the scalp, this one right here is still apart. So I'm gonna press Control Z and undo that. And let's select this one now, the scalp. And we'll attach the scalp also to the bangs. All right, cool. So now we have one big hair item that we can move all along together. Okay. So then if we go into stage mode, back into stage mode here, we can uh, right click on the hair or the character. It doesn't really matter, but action menu and something like running and they'll all animate together. So that's pretty cool. We can uh, do a simple uh, accessory creation like that and animate all the different items elements together. All right, let's go back to uh, frame one here and let's go ahead and uh, save this. I'm going to show you how to save an accessory and reapply it to another character and then animate it. So with the hair item selected, make sure it's selected, go to the content manager and we're going to go to actor custom and we have an accessory folder here. If we want, we can uh, right click and create, uh, uh, just go to find file here. Um, you can, you know, find all your folders right here. You can also right click and select a new folder. If you want, we can name this new folder like hairstyles. All right. And, uh, we can go into that. Just keep things organized. Going to go into hairstyles and just use this plus, cool, uh, plus key here. And once we do that, let's call it a uh, cool hairdo. Okay. And then we can apply it to any of the other characters as well. So let's go to our template actor G3 human. Let's throw in bikini girl here. All right. So we have two sisters, one a bit more modest than the other, perhaps. All right, we'll bring her down just like this. And uh, we can apply the hair to this character really easily just by going again to uh, the custom tab, accessory hairstyle. And because again, it has all the bone hierarchy and layer data already set up, it'll apply just like it has on this character. But we need to uh, delete the original hair there. So what we need to do to do that is go into composer mode and uh, whoops, we need to make sure we have the character selected and not the uh, hairdo. And go into composer mode. And let's just select the front hair there and press delete. And we can select the uh, back blonde hair there and press delete as well. And we'll be left with this nice, simple carrot top. All right, let's go back to stage mode and uh, take a little bit of a look at the animations. So I'm going to just uh, right click on my hair. I think, I think, I think there's still some animation so we can remove object animation on that. Let's go ahead and right click our character, use the action menu. Let's do something like a nice simple walk loop. Okay. And I'm going to press F3 to go into my timeline. If you have this object related track selected, then anything you select, it'll select that character. So let's go ahead and go to the motion track 
And you can see that we have this um, clip lined up here. We can click and drag to loop that a few times. And if we go back to frame one and press space, there we go. We have a nice little preview of our walk. But the hair is very stiff. So let's go ahead and we can right click our character and then go to accessory animations. We don't actually have to click the uh, hair. We can click the character and go to accessory animations now and then go here and we can use this walking one. Okay. Now if we select the hair item, we can go to the motion and we can see that one clip right there, which we can loop a few times. And there we go. A nice sassy walk down the street with the hair bouncing around. All right, let's try an example on the character on the right now. So with the character on the right, let's just go ahead and uh, right click her action menu. I'm going to apply a thinking, uh, thinking loop here. All right. So if we go to the motion track, let's try and slow that thinking down. It's a little bit too fast for me. So I'm going to click on this clip here and we're going to toggle speed mode and just click and drag it a little bit longer. All right. So if we play back, uh, it seems a bit more contemplative uh, than it previously was. There you go. Okay. And then we can toggle the loop on and click and drag that a few times to have her a bit more contemplative there. So, hmm. All right. And maybe when she's thinking, we'll have her hair f uh, flowing through the wind. So I'm going to right click on the character accessory animation and let's go to, uh, let's go to breeze first of all. Okay. So we can have that nice breeze. If we select the character's hair there, motion track, just going to loop that a few times. So there she is contemplating the meaning of life in her bikini. All right. And if we want, we can just right click on the hair, remove object animation. And that'll remove all those clips. Let's try a stronger wind example here. Let's go to the action menu, the hair selected and strong wind loop. All right. We can uh, click and drag that to loop it a bit more. And there you go. Despite the strong wind in her face, she is thinking about something. All right. Anyway, so that's about all there is for, uh, you know, creating your own hair accessories from props and animating them and uh, saving them, applying them to other characters. Hopefully you learned a lot. Uh, make sure you check out our other YouTube videos on our YouTube channel. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.